Let's get started with the MIDAC circuit implementation. I'm using the Texas Instruments TL072 op amp. Make note of the correct pinout right here. I have connections to the plus and minus 15 volt supply, analog ground. The signal comes from the analog output. That's the input to the integrator, which we watch on analog input zero. We watch the integrator output on analog input number one. The red indicates the plus and minus 15 volt connections. There's ground. Over here we have the signal source being applied. Here we're monitoring the output. I have a one meg resistor tipped vertically. And there's the 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And here we see the negative sides for the analog inputs. Now the circuit that I'm using is the same one that you analyzed in terms of component values. I'm going to use a different input waveform. So follow along with this and then you'll be able to confirm that your oscilloscope display looks as it should. I'm going to create two pulses total. So I'll set up four segments. I need 50 kilohertz for the sample rate. I need each one of these segments to be one millisecond in duration. Now for this one, I want a constant level of one volt. And then we'll have another at negative one. So we go from zero, jump up to one, come back to zero, jump down to negative one. This gives us a waveform with a four millisecond period. I'll save that away in a waveform editor file so I can recall this waveform as needed later on. This is the only format that allows you to edit in the uh, the way we're looking at it here. The WDT format is needed for the arbitrary waveform generator. So in general, you always need to save a pair of files like this. Make sure that we're using the same sample rate of 50 kilosamples per second. And that's being produced on analog output zero. Hit run and we're ready to go. Just confirm again that we are generating a signal that's four milliseconds in duration. All right, let's look at the two analog input channels on the oscilloscope. I'll change the time base to give us a little bit better time resolution on our periodic waveform. I'll stabilize the display by triggering on an edge. And let me use a threshold of minus one half volt. So we see the trigger level right here and we're triggering on a rising edge of channel zero signal. Now let's select the analog input number one. So our output is showing up in blue and the input is showing up in green. Here we see the input dropping negative and that causes the integrator to ramp upwards. Remember, we're looking at an inverting integrator here, so that's why it goes in the opposite direction of, of the pulse. And you get a little better vertical resolution here as well. Yeah, I think the time base is good. To make some measurements from the waveforms directly, let's look at the output channel. And then we can operate the cursor to take a look at the specific value that, we're, that we are measuring. So we need, needed to be able to do this for the constant regions of the waveform. And this is where you read the cursor value. 